Hi. Um. Yeah. So I'm kind of experiencing a little bit of imposter syndrome. I'm put my glasses because I'm blind. Which is making me doubt every little thing of my life. Well, not every little thing, but like my career wise. Um, and if you're like me and you and you have the, the same and you go through the same motions of imposter syndrome, you're not alone. Um, currently, I'm having doubts in what I do in work and here and. I'm doing these videos, videos. <laughs> I'm doing these videos for myself and no one else. And if someone watches, someone watches. But um, yeah, <clears throat> I know I'm not the only one that feels like this. But I just want to be a little reminder for people who are feeling the same way I'm feeling. Like you're not alone. Um, you have to remember your worth and you also have to remember, remind yourself that you're a badass and that, um, your words, oh my God, and that you're just, you can do whatever you set your mind to and what's for you will be yours. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Um, but at the meantime, you just have to keep on trucking and keep on keeping on and, you know, do what you want to do until it, it makes it doesn't make you happy anymore or until you're you just don't want to do it anymore because you just don't want to do it anymore. Um, currently, I'm having imposter syndrome with my job because I started a new position and you know um there's days where I'm like oh my god I'm doing such a great job and then there's like especially with fitness oh my god right now like I'm trying to lose a lot of the weight I gained and I'm like oh my god what's the point and then and then I go into my cycle and then I, I stop eating well or you know and I don't even eat bad when I don't eat well whatever it's just my body just doesn't handle it as well as it should anyways back on to, back to the point um I I get into my head so much to the point where I'm like you know what I'm not gonna do it anymore I'm just tired I just don't want to do it I just and then I I get like a spark of like motivation and then that motivation dies and, and it's just a cycle and cycle and cycle and I'm trying to break the cycle um, because you won't go anywhere until you break the cycle and that's the truth. Um, well, I think that's the truth in my opinion, but um, I just feel like What do we gain from getting in our heads? And I keep telling myself, okay, you're just overthinking everything. And then and then you start spiraling. And then you start thinking, oh my God, I could have done this. I could have said that, blah, blah, blah. Why didn't I say this? You know, and it's just an ongoing thing. And then especially with the with fitness, um, another thing that I'm struggling with is that like, and I'm trying to break the mindset is food like um, I've healed my relationship with food but there is some times where like I binge eat and um, or I just slip up and just go like a couple of days without tracking or whatever and then I I start being myself up about it but then you have to remind myself of yourself and I remind my, I try to remind myself that you're not going to lose your progress over a day or you're not going to 
like if you miss the gym i was sick for a couple of days and i missed the gym for a couple of days and then like and that set me semi spiraling i'm like oh my god am i gonna lose my progress am i gonna stop being motivated but no after i recovered i i got back on track and i been going the five days like how i was doing before i got sick it's just it's all mindset and i'm trying to say is that when you're in this mindset you just have to remind yourself and it's i know it's hard and it sounds really stupid but you just have to remind yourself hey why is worrying about this right now how is worrying about this right now gonna do me any good? What can I learn from it? What can I do to make myself better? I'm all of, I'm all about improving myself <laughs> each and every day because there's always room for improvement, and that's what I tell my employee and uh, my, my employer. And you know, whenever I start a new job, it's like, how can I? I always want feedback. How can I? improve myself to make me a better worker and then at the same as good that's how that's how i think outside of work how can i improve myself to make me a better person i'm not the i'm not perfect and i'm not i'm no saint but how can i learn from the mistakes to not do them again and there's always learning um there's always something to learn um and then when I fuck up, I have I get really bad anxiety. I'm like fuck. But then I'm just like I'm. You know what? I'm not perfect. No one's perfect. We all make mistakes. We're all human. And if you keep on doing the same mistakes and you're not learning, then you have to be like, okay, wait. Why the fuck am I not learning my lesson? Anywho, yeah. So that's how I feel right now. Um, my anxiety has been high. Uh, it could be because of my period. Uh, my period, I just ended a couple days ago. So that could possibly be why. Um, but I feel like there's a, a lot of certain things that's been going on lately that I'm just like, I'm happy that. I, I know I've been saying this a lot, but I'm really happy that I went back to therapy because I need that mental support. Because I do not want to go back into how I how it was um but yeah I'm just gonna go to bed um I did receive a package my package that I ordered from Gymshark so I'll do a try on tomorrow and um I did work out today also I want to uh, say my workout sucked today um I'm doing a new workout routine for the next 75 days. Um, I'm, I decided to, to change my workouts every 75 days, and my work my workout sucked ass today. And then that's another thing that I want to say is that like even like if you're in fitness and into fitness or whatever, and like you have a bad workout, and you're like me, um, and you're like fuck, like what is, what the fuck did I do? Um, remind, remind yourself just because it was a shitty workout, at least you worked out. <laughs> that's how I, that's how I see it. But, um, yeah, today was not the best. I feel like I need to just stretch more. I feel like I need to take my time adding weight to certain things and modify certain things because I do not want to hurt myself, I do not want to have an injury. and. At one point when I was doing my deadlift, um, before my deadlift, I was doing um, hip thrusts and I feel like I needed, to, I, I should have done more hip, um, more hip stretches to, to open up my hip because when I was doing my deadlift, my left hip felt super tight and I couldn't get, I couldn't have that mind to muscle connection because of how tight my hip was and I just kept pushing because I'm stubborn and I kept pushing and pushing but um, you live and you learn and hopefully um, I'm gonna do a little bit more research on form and just and just see what um, how I can better myself on my glute and ham hamstring days but yeah.
tomorrow should be another day and it should be a it, it's just it's another day and i'm hoping for the best and um yeah so i'm gonna end on this note um and i will see you guys tomorrow bye